Okay, I love to do split capture, so I'm going to do. I have finally got my Raspberry Pi kind of where I want it. I really like this. And I was really, really pleased with this case. I don't know how well you can see that. That's an Elduino. Um, I don't know if the fan's working as well as it could be. Hope I don't need the fan. This cat right here advertised, but I'm going to go ahead and go to here. I got it on Amazon. There's where it's supposed to plug up in there. $9.99 El Duino Raspberry Pi. That's the last piece. And, and this really looks cool. It's on. Okay, there's a fan that comes on when it gets hot. And it has five plastic sheets. And the dude said on this tape, and I'm going to show you how this thing works here in a minute, the, the Raspberry Pi. The dude said you had to be real careful and you couldn't figure it out. He, he's full of crap. It was easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. It's really so many different ways this can go. I mean, this top one, a fan goes in and it screws down in another uh, dark one. Then there's one that's clear plastic that goes on the bottom. And then there's another one that's that's dark that goes on above that. And then there's another clear one. There's five in all. And they roll together really nice. All the plugs come in. I plugged in the bottom USB and a top USB. I plugged in the, uh, the power unit that I have. And I plugged in my HDMI. As you can see, it's working. So let's see. This is my browser. This is a... Uh, Looks very much like a browser you used to. They do that. See, so they black out. Because okay, these videos... Here with some toys. Uh, I tried to get a video over here on this one, but didn't run. A lot of these things don't run so great on this machine. Let's go to another one. This guy right here, this explaining computers guy, he's really cool. He's someone I like a lot. Notice these things. My internet is running pretty good. I have a pretty good internet here. But it's playing. And if you'll notice down here on, a, on the machine where it goes setting. Welcome to another video from Explaining Computers. It's autoplay. It's running at Last 144. Time, I a heat sink to a Raspberry Pi 3 so. and also ran some temperature tests. As these showed, even with a heatsink fitted, at full processor utilization, a Pi 3 can get very hot. So and did. Here we go. In so video, it runs at 144 when 720 is where your machine cool. might run. Okay. But it gets updates. It runs the it runs everything that it's supposed to do. I have audio files up here, which I like a lot. I download those off of uh, university websites. I'll play you that. Open it in a new menu. This is my favorite one. This one right here. This is the the five The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. There you go. I got that off the line. The Adventures of the Scandal in Bohemia. Okay. I think I got the volume off on my little machine here. That's messing up my presentation. Oh, it's off the player. It is no easy matter See? to know which to, you go. And, which to leave. and this will run all day. However, now, the papers, on the desktop, it comes with the road, is the one that it comes on, and, and it's up here. The, uh, control, the control bar is up here. I moved it down here, and it also includes what percentage I'm running. So this is running zero machine, zero percent. So the little pie is not working at all. Uh, I've noticed... That when it's running uh, video, it doesn't really work. When it runs audio, it doesn't work that hard. Now, let me show you something here. My favorite game, I'm going to go ahead and go to it. Now, when it goes, it asks you what you want the audio to do. I go four C HDMI. That's how you get the audio to switch here. Ink Spell is my favorite little game. This is fun. even yeah so yeah I want to go from orange to yellow from yellow to purple from purple to red 
chair goes up, chair goes down. Yeah, I'm not going to discover any uh, <laughs> cure for cancer. Okay, I am not going to solve the problems in the Middle East. But yeah, there you go. Now, back to this little case. The fan is supposed to hook up to the two and three on the ports, and that's a great, a great little box. Now, as far as, let's finish up here. This case was $9.99. I got the software from it, as I, I think I've said before, from Detroit DYI. And I've really been happy with it. But uh, I have downloaded some SD cards since that time, and it's really not that tough. And I have to give props out to Paul McCorder for that. Because he went over it with me, and he and that's the first time that I figured it out. But you can go to the Raspberry Pi website, go on to Noobs, and then it has downloads. I downloaded the zip file. It drops down, and then you go to your desktop. You open the zip file, and you create another one. Here it is. This is my Noob software. You take the Noob software. And you move it over into a formatted disk that you have from your from the WinDisk 32 that you have in this little here, right? It takes a couple of minutes, depending. The noobs file should be pretty easy. And then you set it up here and it uploads. And then when I got it over here, I had to update it with sudo commands from the command line from here where I put in two commands to update it and then you rebooted which it takes about 20 minutes to update it and then you can get a VLC player a little player so I'm also one other thing that I've been able to do little old me then I'm happy I have nowhere near got anywhere near the capability of this machine. So I have LibreOffice, which is also open source. And there is my recent documents. There's my resume. There I am. I don't know how it printed out, but it's not too tough to do a printer. I've also done, I've also got a web camera that's not hooked up right now, and I want to get a microphone. So this bad boy, I bought a lot of stuff that I didn't necessarily need. But yeah, you can get off pretty easy. I mean, you can get a case like this one. This case right here was 8 bucks, But a case, 10 bucks. Your power source, 10 bucks. HDMI, most people have those already. $20 for your uh, mouse and your uh, keyboard. And your card, 10 bucks. You can get a card for 10, 10 bucks and you can download it yourself. So you can do the whole shooting match for around 50 bucks and you got a computer. Well, a little more than that because you're going to pay 35 for your Pi, 35 for your Pi. Your um, SD card, let's say is 15, so that's 50. I, I apologize, I overshared it. Uh, 60 for the power control and then. Your keyboard and your other deals about 70 75 bucks but you got a functioning computer you can play games with you can surf the net it's pretty good so if you want to if you have to take your computer to the shop or you have to do something uh, I also on this this also has a browser where I can check my emails I can check my emails on this right here there it is there's my Gmail. It works. See? It's a little slower than the other machine. But these don't, these, nobody's got viruses on this. Nobody's attacking you. Yeah. I'm nearing the end of my allowances. Yeah, I just started. What is it? It's already the. There we go. In the, in the screen, I mean, quite, it doesn't look as good. And it, there it goes. So it doesn't really like heavy usage. It 
Deller doesn't really like that that much. So I don't really know about this being a media center. People say that. I'm a little skeptical about that. But in any case, that's what I have. I'm happy with it. I had fun. Learn stuff. Bye-bye.